To be kept up to date with the latest video releases and help support these tutorials, please subscribe by clicking the link on screen and follow Creative Studios on Twitter. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoy this new video. Probably the most common question that I get when people who are new to starting skins attempt to create a, a skin is why can't this skin be on the whole weapon? Often when people first start out they find that the scope and the barrel and areas of high contact they wear much more quickly than the rest of the weapon and when people first start they often run into the issue where the design isn't showing on these different parts. So this video is going to show you how to solve that problem. As you can see on the screen now this is a very poor design but it's been chosen in order to explain how you fix this issue. What I'm going to do now is switch over to Photoshop. So as you can see here this is the flat version of the design that you just saw in the CSGO Workbench. Now I'm just going to quickly go through the file and explain um, the different layers that I have. So yellow, red, blue and the base which is the sort of white um, colour. It's like an off blue. Um, now what I've done is, obviously this is my colour texture, so this is the texture you're going to use um, for the actual design. I've created a clone of this folder, so you can just drag your folder down to the bottom, um, which creates an exact copy of the colour. Then you can rename it, so we'll rename that where. And I'll get rid of this one. Um, so what we've got now is the colour version and we've got the wear version, which is what we're going to use to define how durable uh, the weapon paint is. Anyone who is unfamiliar with this, the CS wear system, um, each weapon design has varying levels of damage or wear and you can control this with an alpha channel which is what I'm about to explain. Before we go into the process of creating an alpha channel to control the wear, um, firstly I'd like to show you Valve's official documentation. This is the official part of Valve's weapon finish guide that talks about weapon wear, durability, masking. Uh, I just wanted to quickly show you this. Um, the web address at the top here, I'll also put it in the description below. Basically this explains how the wear system uh, works. Um, you can read all this, but um, we're going to focus on this section here. Um, basically values around 196 and alpha channel subtract from refinishable areas of the weapon. I'll explain what that means later. Both 128 and 255 have no effect on the weapon. Basically that means if you put 128 or 255 value in your alpha channel, what you're going to end up with is the same wearing process as you do without an alpha channel, basically the default wearing process. Uh, values below 1 to 8 in the alpha channel increase the durability of the finish. So in other words, if you change the value to below 1 to 8 in your alpha channel, the paint will be more durable, i.e. it won't wear as quickly or as much. I'm going to go back to Photoshop and show you how that translates into the actual weapon itself. So now we have a better understanding of how the durability system works. I'm just going to save the texture and show you how this would look if you just exported this texture straight into um, the workbench without doing any alpha channel work. So I've created the VTF here which is a copy of this. Um, it has no alpha channel, it's just an RGB texture. So I'm going to quickly save that, so Control S. Um, I'll come and explain this later, but for now Let's save that. So I've switched over to the Counter-Strike Workbench. All we need to do to get the texture to update is click Refresh. As you can see on the screen now, if you have no alpha channel, a lot of parts of the weapon do not receive your design. As I mentioned before, the scope, the barrel, the magazine, some parts of the, st uh, the stand and the, the stock at the end. Um, now I'm going to go back to Photoshop and explain how we use the alpha channel in order to control the wear so that the whole design is visible. So we're back in Photoshop and I've selected the PSD version of the texture. So inside my wear folder what I'm going to do is start changing the values and try and explain how the wear system works. So first thing I'm going to do a really quick uh, change. I'm going to turn off all of these layers and I'm going to change the base layer, um, add a colour overlay and I'm going to change that to be black. So basically all I've got now is a black, solid black texture. I'm going to um, copy that and go to my VTF, go to the channels and then add a new channel which is going to create an alpha channel. Once I've created an alpha channel I can paste that on. Obviously it's already created a black alpha so I don't need to do anything but um, 
if you do a different color, it would need to be pasted in. So now we have an off channel that's black. I can save this texture again. Now this is where it's important that you have the correct settings. If you use some of these uh, formats, they don't support alpha channels. So the ones that support alpha channels are the DXT5, which is a common format. Um, other ones are ones that you notice with an A. Um, you'll see ones with an A in it, and that basically says it supports alphas. There'll be other ones in there that support alphas as well, but for now, let's stick to DXT5. I'm not going to change anything in here, but this automatically gets checked when you change it to DXT5. And these are going to remain the same. So I'll OK that. So now I'm back in um, the workbench. Now you can see it's obviously not updated, so I need to click refresh. So now that I've clicked refresh, making a black alpha channel basically applies the design to the complete weapon. Now the reason it does this is because what you've done now is said that the paint's basically indestructible. It is so durable that it does not take any wear. Now I'll show you what that means when I slide this wear slider. So even though I've slid the wear slider all the way to its most worn, i.e. battle scarred, the design hasn't actually taken any wear. Um, you, you're probably thinking, yeah, it has, but it's not, it's just dirt. Um, if you see here, this is dirt, not um, wear. You can't, as far as I know, uh, remove the dirt completely, but obviously, as I've shown, you can completely remove any wear on the weapon whatsoever. But obviously, you don't really want the weapon not to wear. An important part of the CSGO system is that weapons come in different wear levels. So you need to have wear, it's just that you don't want it to be wearing so quickly that you know you don't get the design on various parts. So I'm going to switch back to Photoshop and show you how we can improve this. So I'm back in Photoshop and I'm on my PSD and I've got my base layer which is currently set to black but I don't want it to be black and I quite like the idea of the base layer and wearing it at a default rate. And so as we discussed when we were looking at Val's durability documentation, if you want something to wear at the default rate, like the standard rate, um, it needs to be set to either 1 to 8, which is there, 1 to 8, or 255. Um, I'm going to go with 1 to 8 because um, it's going to be easier to view. So we go OK with that. The next thing we're going to do is, in order to explain a few things at once, we're going to change this blue circle to be a value of 196. And we're going to make the red square a value of 70. And uh, we'll make the yellow square a value of uh, 90. So 90. Okay, so basically what we've got there is we've got the yellow on 90, the red on 70, I think, and the blue on 196 and the base on 1 to 8. So all we need to know is copy that. So in order to copy um, all the layers visible, you go to Copy Merged or Control shift c which is what I'm going to use. So Control shift c and we go back to our VTF into the Alpha channel and paste that in. Now, once we've done that, we can save this texture. So once we're in Counter Strike, we just need to refresh. Now that we've refreshed, we can get an idea of how these different values affect the weapon. Firstly, let's go into the actual workbench area. Firstly, the blue. We set the blue circle to a value of 196. Now, in Val's documentation, it basically explains that if you set a value in your Apple channel to 196, what it does is it shows the base weapon. So basically, it subtracts your design and shows the base weapon through. But this does not wear. Even when I turn the wear up to a high level, um, this blue circle is still correct. You know, you can still see the edges, and there's no wear in here. That's because it's already showing the base weapon. I.e., it's already showing as if it's been worn away right down to the to the to the base. So 196 basically allows you to mask areas of your design and show the base through your design. Now, if you look at the front of the weapon, um, where we assigned uh, the yellow, where the er yellow arrow is assigned, we assigned the value of uh, 90 to this weapon. Now, 90 is not a uh, low enough value for the design not to wear at all, um, but it's not so high a value that the design is completely invisible. What we've ended up with 
is somewhere in the middle. You've got some of the yellow showing through, but some of it's worn away. So as we increase the wear, this will disappear. On a very low wear level, part of the yellow is visible. So that's with the value of 90. Now if you look at the red square, when the wear level is low, i.e. factory new, this red square is perfect, i.e. it doesn't have any wear in it. But as we move up through the wear levels, we can start to see the design is starting to wear away. Now, it's pretty much gone completely from the scope now and is starting to go from the main body. You know, we're starting to get scratches. Um, the other thing to be aware of, obviously, we set this white texture to be a value of 1 to 8, which is the default weapon wear. Now, as we move through these values, you can see that this white area is wearing much more quickly than the red area. That's because the red's on a value of 70, but the white's on a value of 1 to 8. So the higher the value, the faster it wears. So you can see here that the white is wearing a lot more quickly than the red. That should give you enough information um, on how the wear system works on a high level to be able to play around with it yourselves and be able to produce some interesting results. Um, one thing to be aware of, um, unfortunately, different weapons wear at different speeds. So the op is one of the weapons that wears quite quickly. I mean, obviously the, the, the barrel and the scope wears so quickly that it literally doesn't have your design on it to begin with at all. Other weapons don't wear as quickly and you'll just end up with little uh, elements of wear. Obviously you can reduce those elements of wear by doing the technique I've just shown you. Um, but as I say, the value of 70, 70, 70 for this and 90 for this and 1 to 8 for this won't necessarily be the same values that you need on other weapons. So it is a case of trial and error. You have to experiment with different values until you get the effect that you want. One of the things I've found with uh, weapons like this op, areas that you think are wearing too quickly, like for example the barrel or the, the scope, you can basically in your uh, UVs or in your 3D program, you can uh, give this whole scope a value um, as opposed to doing it based on the design you can tone down the scope's value in the alpha channel so that the whole scope itself doesn't wear as quickly as it does currently. And you can do the same with the barrel and any other parts. So you're not only limited to your design, um, i.e., you know, like this red square or this blue circle. You can actually, you know, select parts. So I could select these um, brackets and I could make them wear more quickly or less quickly than the actual scope itself. And once you start playing around with that, you can produce some pretty interesting results. I hope you found this tutorial useful. If you would like to support this channel, please subscribe by clicking the link on screen now. Thanks again for watching.